In this video, I will show you exactly how much my new vending machine business made in just one month, and it's kind of painful. It's about drive. If you are trading your time for money, then this video is for you because a vending machine business can be very low barrier to entry, meaning you don't need, need you, what, you, that much cash uh, to get started, and you can really see some good returns. But when you see people online, like CNBC Make It just made a video about Marcus Graham, who literally has $60,000 in vending machine assets, or Jaime Ibanez, who probably has a similar portfolio, if not bigger. These kind of numbers can be very intimidating for people like you and me. That is why I started this vending machine business channel. I literally have three vending machines on two different locations. If you are thinking about starting a vending machine business, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you like the idea of buying assets rather than trading your time for money or assets over labor, hit us with a like and drop a comment. My first location is a rye wall supply house. It has about 30 to 40 employees. I average between there 25 and 30 transactions a day. My second location is a doctor's office. That one's a little slower. I'm getting between 12 and 15 transactions per day. My total revenue for this month was $1,023.33. I paid $32.97 for my data plans. All my machines have credit card readers. That's how I get all my info. I pay for a data plan. It's like 10 bucks a machine. Then this month, I spent $537.63 at the good old Sam's Market. That gives us a profit of $453. That is a great cash on cash return, except one thing. I financed three brand new machines. So I paid $309 uh, for my debt. That brings us to just a profit of $143.65. Would it be worth it for you to spend $1,500 and stock these machines twice a month for $150? The answer is no, but we have to look We have to look broader. Any business you start, it's gonna be incredibly painful to get profit in the beginning. So considering that I just started this business just a few months ago, the fact that we are profiting 150 bucks while servicing $300 a month for debt is just incredible. So what is a good way that you can go forward and start your business? I would say to bank cash first. Get you about $3,000 in cash first and then find your closest vending machine warehouse. I live in Oklahoma. Closest vending machine warehouse to me is Dallas, which is literally like three hours away. You could rent a truck from U-Haul, rent a small trailer, buy a pallet jack from Harbor Freight, return that thing after you're done. Got it! Get one of these $2,500 combo machines, load it up, and then your, your startup costs with rentals is going to be about 3200 bucks and then you got a decently used vending combo machine throw a credit card reader on that thing and then you have no debt get it in a good location and then you could be profiting immediately 400 500 once again we made about 150 dollars for the month but this is just the beginning go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can see the journey and see where we were at in nine months if you want to see exactly how much it cost me to start this vending machine business check this video out right here